Charles Ruanga being one of them, and uh, he was the successor uh, of, of Joseph Mukasa. Charles Ruanga now became the new leader. The of new leader. The new re, yeah, but uh, more, even more dy dynamic than Joseph Mukasa. So uh, he led both the Catholics and the Protestants and whatnot uh, together. He said, we are all believing in Christ. Never please betray Christ. It is better for us to die than to betray Christ. So when they were arrested, when they were arrested uh, on, uh, on Wednesday, uh, 27th uh, May 1885, mm -hmm. uh, all, the, uh, all the pages, all the five servants of the king were called and all the chiefs were called to the court to the court mm -hmm. and then the king said now you sit there the uh, the christians i would like the christian to go there then this is what charles wanga stood up he said what we know to be true we cannot deny please follow me then they all followed him both the Protestants and the Catholics to the spot. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they decided to die. Uh, who was that king again? King King Mwanga. King Mwanga. The second, yes. King Mwanga the second. Yes. So King Mwanga now calls the all the Christians yes. and condemns them to death. Condemns them and uh, gave them to the executioners to take them to Namugongo. Uh, Namugongo was the place of uh, executions. Yes. Uh, we have a pict uh, pictures here. In fact, uh, could you please explain it to us a little bit? This picture looks old. When was it taken? It was taken in 1885. 1885. This was taken in 1885. Okay. When this... uh, Joseph Mukasa and uh, all those Christians went to Tanzania to welcome the bishop, the bishop who had been consecrated. Uh, this is remarkable because yes. this is a very historical picture that yes. didn't yes. exist yes. for a long time. Not many people knew that there was a true photograph of yes. these young gallant men. Yes. Now, and uh, this one was taken in 1886 uh, after the, uh, uh, the great execution. Okay. Yes. Now, how were they executed? I'm sure the audience here in America doesn't know how this whole thing took place. Yes, they took reeds, uh, piled them, uh, tied them together, piled up. They spent a complete week uh, to make a pile of, of firewood. A and big bonfire. A very, very big bonfire. Then they uh, wrapped them together in mats of reeds and mm -hmm. put them on the, uh, on the fire and they started. Well, but it, that sounds like the way the Indians cremate the dead people. Uh, probably, yes. But these guys were not dead yet. They were alive, right? No, they were alive. And uh, what they were doing is just praying. Praying all the way to oh, the they, fire. Oh, the fire, praying and singing. And then even the, what the executioners wondered, they said, we had never killed such a people. I wonder how many of us would actually sing in the fire. Don't, I don't know. <laughs> I well, don't I know. would need a special grace to get into that fire. I anyway. don't know. Now, when they were killed, yes. at that time, the priests were not in Buganda. Uh, no, uh, the, uh, the priests were in Buganda. They were in Buganda. They were in Buganda. They had already come back. Yes. Say, Father, because they returned on the 12th uh, uh, July. Okay. You mentioned to me um, yes. earlier on that St. John Marie Musee mm. was not executed together with the bigger crowd. And that's right. Where was he at that time? Uh, he was hiding. So there is something different from John Marie Musee. Uh, there are just about two points which are, are peculiar to him. Mm -hmm. One is that he was a genius. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he learned catechism which took other people four months in three days and mm. the fourth day he was able to teach 
and that's the spread. one we have in this other picture. Okay, and the other picture. And two, uh, on the 1st November, it was Sunday, 1885, uh, that's when he was baptized. After baptism, he uh, called Father Rude mm -hmm. and said, please uh, be my witness as I make my promise to God. Mm -hmm. And he made the promise, one, I will never marry the whole of my life. Two, uh, all my money I have, uh, I will be giving it to, uh, to, 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 to the church and uh, I will use it to, uh, to help the, the sick. And uh, three, I will never do anything before I get your permission. So it was the first religious. So when the when he, he heard of uh, of the death of what of the arrest, uh, he went. But he, because he had made his vow of obedience, he first went to the uh, to, to the priestess mm -hmm. to ask for permission. Then said, "No, don't." So don't the priest go. persuaded him to stay in hiding. To stay and in, in hiding. And what was he doing during and that in time? And in hiding, he collected uh, all the Christians and those. That's his class. So we are that class, those young kids yes. you see there, were yes. his students. His students in the jungle, because it was uh, uh, during the time of persecution. Mm -hmm. And uh, the bishop came on the 26th, that June. So when he came, uh, Mose... Just three weeks after the big he, fire. Yes. He brought them from the jungle to come and uh, greet the bishop. And we have a picture of him there yes. with his class yes. being blessed by Bishop Lavignanke. Yes. And that is really interesting. So that is the uh, Saint Mose. He Saint was Mose. the first real native religious. That's right. Oh, then oh. afterwards, uh, the king said, uh, now I have forgiven the Christians. Come back from hiding. He went to seek for permission. Then he said, please, allow me to go. So if I go, if the king kills me, it will mean that uh, he's deceiving. So those, the other Christians should stay in the hiding. The but king if he does it, clemency, yes. then he comes out of the bush. Yes. And then the king. And then uh, this allowed him. He went to be a test. To if he kills me, please still hide. If he does it, kill me. Uh, uh, the come back and from hiding. So he went and he was killed. And the king on, was being deceitful. This deceitful on the first day that what was killed on Monday, uh, 27th uh, January 1887. And it was the last. He was the last one to be killed. To be killed. He uh, was hacked to, uh, cut to pieces and his body thrown into water. Oh, that is remarkable. Yes. Well, uh, now we're going to move on to how did these young men become saints? Uh, when were they canonized? Or before that, what happened? Now, in uh, 1914, they were uh, blessed. Mm -hmm. And uh, in uh, not blessed, uh, venerable. Venerable, yes. Yes, in 1920, uh, they were taken as what they were raised to yes. to, to to blessed right and in 1964 uh, they became saints they they were canonized in saints. rome in 1964 yes as and saints. yes and at that time was really a uh, different was peculiar that's the very time when the uh, the african music the african music was uh was sung and uh, even the, 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 the African music instruments were played the in, the, in the drums in the basilica. Oh, the that, was, that was a historical day. Yes. In summation, what do you say that we can learn from these Uganda matters? Say, uh, these Uganda matters, first of all, we can learn that uh, the region, Christian Catholicism, has no discrimination. That's one. That's good. Because if there was any discrimination, this will not be canonized. Right. And two, we should learn and 
try to see that we uh, work uh, on our own for our faith without depending on any other person. Amen.